Wow. I just finished watching the GOP debates and that's three hours of my life I'll never get back. All right, that's the nicest thing I can say about it. Come on, man, what? You, we gotta pick a president out of these guys. You expect us to do that? Have you seen these guys? Oh man, it's a bunch of spit boxing and mud slinging and silly cat fighting. All this crap going on. No real debating. Name calling. People talk about people's mother. Oh my God, and if I gotta hear Ronald Reagan's name one more time, I'm gonna go and shoot some old TVs. That's right, I'm gonna shoot some old TVs. This is the only place you should be, I should hear his name. It's old programs on TV land. These guys brought him up every, up, up every chance, like Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan. It's like Tourette's. Tourette's for old Republicans. Come on, man. What I remember about Ronald Reagan is this. He started the war on drugs. They got a lot of black and brown people locked up for the rest of their lives for weed. That's Ronald Reagan. Oh, oh, Nancy. Oh, Nancy. That bastard. That's what I think about Ronald Reagan. A lot of people really like him, though. Go figure. So, look, they kept bringing him up over and over again. But this is what we knew. And what we knew is what happened, right? You didn't have to be a rocket science to know, rocket scientist to know, that Donald Trump was re leading the pack and that he was going to continue to lead the pack. I knew that when I watched it. I'm like, look, the only thing I questioned, was Donald Trump going to pull back and start being a little bit more conservative? Nope. In fact, he mashed the gas pedal. When they questioned him on stuff like talking about Jeb Bush's wife, he doubled down. Said, yeah, I said she's ugly. She is ugly. Uh, he didn't go that bad. But he was like, he didn't care, man. He did not care. Actually, he didn't call Jeb Bush's wife ugly. He just said she's Hispanic. And because she's, she is Hispanic, Jeb Bush probably can't think clearly on immigration issues. Said a couple other things probably that was rude as hell, but he would not apologize to anyone. Let me back up. Let me tell you something, man. First of all, all those people didn't need to be on the stage. That's right. They didn't. You should have. You heard them, right? It's too many people. Donald Trump called it out in the beginning. He's like, Rand Paul has no reason being up here. I'll tell you. He only has 1% of the vote. So he's not a very brilliant man. He should not be here. And he's right. If you got 1% of the vote, why are you here? And more importantly, why are people giving money to a guy who's only getting 1% of the vote? That money should be better spent flushing it down the toilet. Your money will be better spent giving it to some homeless guy who you know is going to buy crack because maybe he'll buy a little bit of food to go with it. You can send it all to me if you want. Tim at TimTheBartender.com. PayPal me. I mean, if you want to just give money to guys who definitely going to lose, you should give it to me. I'll use it for stuff like a real pop filter. But listen, man, this is the deal. This is what you need to know. Not only is Rand Paul wasting our time, so is Walker, who I can't stand. This Keanu Reeves with a haircut looking bastard. This guy is annoying. He doesn't seem sincere at all. Get him out of there. He's getting like 2% of the vote. Why is he there taking up space? They should just cut his mic off. No one's listening. All right. Uh, Kasich. Kasich is the governor of Ohio. All right? And every time I turn around, there's bodies dropping in Ohio. And they happen to be black. And they happen to be killed by either law enforcement or trigger-happy cops. Yeah, law enforcement. So, uh, Kasich, I... Uh, Plus, he's long-winded, and he never gets to the point. What else? Cruz. Uh, there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that I find substantive, real, or human about Ted Cruz. This is the bastard that shut down the government before, and he's threatening to shut it down again. Why do people like Ted Cruz? Always talking about judges. You know what? I need to find your chin or your neck or something. Something is wrong about Ted Cruz. And it's more than just his politics. I don't think he's a human being. I think he's an extraterrestrial. Yeah, it's like the movie Scanners. Like something has invaded his body and 
He's not him. He's he's not human anymore. Right? Something's living in him. Like the thing. That's it. The thing. Ted Cruz. All right. Who else should quit? Rubio. Marco Rubio. Nobody's going to vote for Marco Rubio. I'm sorry, Marco. And look, this guy sells his people out so often. Look, for black guys, if you sell out your people, they call you a coon. Right? What's the word for Latino people who sell themselves out? It's got to be a word for it. Bidejo? Puto? I don't know. Something. Can't stand Marco Rubio. All right. So look, the news for the night is that Carly Fiorino, Fiorino, I cannot pronounce her last name. It's not intentional. Carly did well. She moved up. But come on, guys, she didn't do that well. She did well enough to be in a conversation. But look who she's up against. Rand Paul, who's 1%. And Huckabee, Huckabee. Come on, man, if Huckabee happened to win, I'd kill myself. Stop rooting for him, just because I said that. Well, I wouldn't kill myself, but I, I would be sick for a long time. Huckabee is awful. He's the guy holding up Kim Davis. Oh, Kim Davis, oh, Kim Davis, Kim Davis. I drink her bath water just to get elected. You drink her bath water to see your feet. Picked up a lot of weight over the last few years. All right, anyway. Once again, Carly, Carly did well. She did well. She, You know what? She didn't really score a punch, but she did lay a glove on the Trumpster. I mean, I, okay, you know what? I'll give her one round. I'll give her one round out of 12. One round for Carly because she did make Trump feel bad. You know, because he talked about her face, and she's up there, and she was like, and then she tried to smile. You know, it was hard for her to do. You can tell she's not naturally a good smiler. But then Trump got her back, though, when he talked about her record at HP. Oh, man. He said he would never let her run a company. I would never let her run a company. I got to tell you, she's not smart. She couldn't work for me. She'd be fired. Fired. Benjamin Carson was the record holder today for me. Most outstanding performance by a guy I'd never vote for. But... He made me laugh a couple times. He did. But he also made me cringe. There was one part, man. <laughs> There's one part where Benjamin Carson actually said his idea for doing dealing with the illegal immigration issue was to let some illegal immigrants stay. They would be able to work for us, but they wouldn't be citizens. Yeah, they would put them, he would put them to work in the fields. but they wouldn't be citizens. So basically what Benjamin Carson was talking about was he wanted to approve slavery. Yeah, his idea is that we make the illegal immigrants slaves, you know, since it worked out so good for us. Come on, man. <laughs> I couldn't believe he actually said that with a straight face, man. And look, man, I've learned, I've learned by watching this GOP debates that the illegal immigrants is the one group of people you can go after and it's not, it, it doesn't cost you anything because they can't vote against you. Ah! I don't see it happening. I don't see things changing much. It looks to me like, to me, Jeb Bush looks, he looks weak. I mean, come on, guys. He's riding on the coattails of his father and his brother. This guy's not a good politician. And his brother's not a good politician. This guy's even worse than his brother. He's, he's unimpressive unimpressive it's like he's like uh i don't know like when the kids are waiting for it to snow because they don't want to go to school he's like that snow day that never happens you know it's like you wake up and look out the window because you think it's going to be covered with snow and it's clear and you hear your mother say better be getting ready in there that's what it's like when joe when jeb bush start talking gotta get ready Ah, mom. So, man, look, the way I come out on this thing is pretty simple, man. The Trumpster stays the Trumpster. He's on top because he doesn't care. And all those people who thought he was going to shrink under pressure, that all of a sudden he would become of a more traditional candidate, nah, he doubled down on this fuckery. And he's proved that he does not care. And he's going to maintain not caring throughout this whole thing. 
and he'll probably get the nomination. I mean, what can really stop him from getting the nomination? What? He's at 27%. Carson's at 23%. And in fact, for a moment there, I thought to myself, you know what? I can see Benjamin Carson and Trump running together. Come on, come on. It had to cross your mind. It probably crossed your mind. Now, I'm not saying they'd win, but I'm saying I can see him trying. Like I said, it was three hours of my life. I gave it away for you guys because I wanted to be able to talk about the debates and know what I'm talking about and not have to read it. You know, actually know it. Just share it with you. And what I'll share with you is that these guys suck.